Welcome back to Gerdo Town. It's time for us to go take on Vondaboris. So we better go pick up Riju, which should be easy. She's quite small. And so is this little one. She's involved with the side quest. That's not going to happen until after the Divine Beast. She's just going to hang out here running in a circle. Which is kind of what I do. That's how I keep fit. We're running in a circle. Yeah, well, that's a really big circle. That kind of encompasses several blocks, but it counts. And also, I can't run for that long because I have very little stamina. <laughs> Quickly grab another heart. I'm gonna need it. Von Boris is electricity themed. Oh, fun! Remember. Volts hurt, but it's the giant camel amps that kill you. Mm. Camels are sure something I associate with electricity. Oh. I work for a company that deals with electricity, and there's just camels everywhere. Oh. Camels for days, tiny camels, dancing through the conduits. Yep. Are you going up to a young girl's bedroom? No, just outside it. I'm still going in. Of course you are. Oh, stuffy little sand seals. I want one of those. It's not often we get a full name for a character. It's Makila Riju. It is a little bit lame that... So much character is put just into diaries and not into cutscenes. Yeah, but that would involve you spending time with an NPC, and that's just... <laughs> that's not how this game goes. We don't have time for that. We have giant electric sand camels to deal with. Exactly. Because, like, Sidon, right? You know, mm -hmm. you talk to him a bunch and he's brash and so forth, and then he's like, go get thunder arrows. Okay, now ride on my muscly back. And like, that that bird guy, whose name I forget because I don't really care for the Rito, um, he was all like, oh. Tiba? Yeah, he's all like, shoot some targets, now ride on my muscly back. <laughs> <laughs> and now Riju is like, go read my diary, and now ride on my muscly back. Riju's like, fight, fight some ninjas, then ride on my sand seal's muscly back. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she's royalty. She has people to do the muscly back parts for her. I'm not gonna muscle my own back. I'm a prince, goddammit. She has a literal army of muscly backs to do it for her. <laughs> <laughs> Got a town full of man hungry muscly backs. <laughs> Get them all to ride on each other from muscly backs all the way down. And she's got the muscliest back standing right beside her at her throne. I think Valaria could throw her. Why doesn't Valaria just throw you Goron style? <laughs> Only the Gorons can get that distance. <laughs> Savak, climb aboard my shoulders, little man. <laughs> Savak, sayonara. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking highly and javelin toss right up to the divine beast. <laughs> Speedball special. Let's kill us a robot, then you'll be worthy. Only Herbosa. <laughs> Looking good, kiddo. <laughs> Another goofy ass hat. Do I look like a bug? Wait a second. That ridiculous hat is triggering something deep within me. Oh, no, I got zapped. Oh, we all looked like dorks in the 90s. <laughs> <laughs> This 
the way he narrows his eyes before every one of these just <laughs> gives him a weird amount of personality. Wait a damn- Oh no! <laughs> Not exactly Wind Waker level, oh. but well, you certainly better got than usual. Fast. I should have expected as much from the princess's own appointed knight. She was out on a survey all day today. Still as the sands now. So, spill it, boy. Luckily, my Have solid bra is an effective pillow. Right? <laughs> it's okay, I know. Your silence speaks volumes. Shut up! <laughs> exactly! Every time she looks up and sees you carrying that sword on your I like to imagine Zelda was on an actual survey, just jamming a theolodite into the sand all day, not like you <laughs> taking measurements. She probably was. It's unfortunate. Do they make Sheikah She's rangefinders? Been more than enough time. Ever since she was a young girl, She's all she jealous of Link's sword. Daily routines to show her Unbelievable. Education. She should just have the sword. I know we've talked she about this. Out in the freezing water Get the hell out of here, Link. This ceiling power. She has like a and rapier in a couple games, right? Yeah. Never uses That's it, of course. Yeah, she almost kind of gets slapped in the chops before thing. she can hit anybody with it. It's kind of unfortunate. She really is quite special. I like her voice, but I feel like her voice actress could have done sure a maybe one more take. Protect her with your life. It's quite the honor. Yeah, she's kind of got that indie like voice actor. Sure. I don't know. Probably it's the kind of thing that you always get when there's supposed to be like a motherly or... female character, but they don't really know how to voice it. Urbusa, <laughs> what was that? Did you feel that? Just being a mother. How did you... Hey Zelda, you moms are tough. <laughs> how did you, how'd you get? How'd you... It was a hell of a climb. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty hard. We all know it's Teflon. Oh jeez. <laughs> jeez, that was annoying. <laughs> Wolf. Yeah, you've been staring for uh, two minutes now. You were staring before you started remembering it. I want Link to come out of one of these and just have a bunch of shit bounced on his head. <laughs> <laughs> it's just got like a pancake sitting on his forehead. Who did this? Five textbooks. Yes. <laughs> I don't want him anymore. <laughs> Requesting five minute break to laugh at your hat. That's why I always make it a point to only speak in simple, confident pledges of support. Good work. Nice hat. You're doing great, buddy. I'm ready. We're doomed. <laughs> Let's do it to it. I can't breathe. I gotta say, I'm feeling pretty invincible. Yeah, you know, I got a real positive attitude about all this. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm on the aqueduct, skipping on dead birds. I'm on the aqueduct. Aren't all ducks aqueducts? I don't think there's any land only ducks. That's a Marx Brothers joke! Oh. It's very good! Um, convergent <laughs> evolution? <laughs> I guess so. See, as they're the only way to travel. Huh? Okay. I love that hair. Yeah. The most. That is an amazing afro. Seriously. More afros need to be bright red. I don't know what it is about Japanese games, but the big, poofy fro just... Huge is like my go to hairstyle. There's always one in like every piece of Japanese media that's not just super serious. Always. I remember in Steambot Chronicles, there's like one barber who only does afros. <laughs> He's like, What kind of haircut do you want? And then you come out just <laughs> looking funky. I love this lady's name, Shabon. 
And she's dressed like a Shaban too. Like she definitely looks like the kind of lady who tells jeez. Oh, she's like she's got that trailer park chic is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> like she's got a mason jar of gin. Like <laughs> this big old hoop earrings and gold ray-bans. <laughs> Yoga pants. She's somebody's great aunt. You just know it. <laughs> she totally. Oh is. yes. Oh yeah. She does not have any kids of her own, and you do <laughs> not want her hanging out with yours. <laughs> we'll be coming back to that place after Vonaboros. That's where we'll be doing some sand seal racing. She'll be all right. She'll be over there chain smoking Virginia Slims and reading Cosmo. <laughs> The place we need to go is over here. This is the one outpost before the area completely surrounded by Vonnaboros's sand. Reju's not in the hut, though. Though there is someone in here. Just a guard sitting here waiting. Everyone's short to a Gerudo. Ah. Nope, nap time first. Okay, fine. Treasure, then nap. Then Divine Beast. No time to nap. Blasphemy. There's always time to nap. That was an interesting musical sting. I'd sound like a trumpet. Go, burr, burr, burr. Excuse me. Read you, you're a chief. <laughs> She's up here practicing trumpet. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. You do know those are really expensive. Thankfully, she gives me some. This is one of the more intense run-ups to a Divine Beast. I like it a lot. And it's all because of Riju. Oh, yeah. Got to stay pretty close. You'll retreat away from me, protecting you from the lightning, so you'll probably die. That'll do. Like with Von Meadow, it takes two bomb arrows to take out each of the weak spots on Vonnaboros, and there's four of them, so... As long as you don't miss, that's a profit of 12 bomb arrows. Just ripping off the lake level from Psychonauts. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well then. <laughs> <laughs> Tell my fortune, little cutie. Are we gonna make it? <laughs> what have I gotta do to seal the deal? <laughs> I was trying to think of a way to work that in, damn it. <laughs> Sandseal's just so excited about whatever. <laughs> Here we go. Don't fall behind. Booyah! Booyah! I love the music for this. What I don't love so much is doing the actual thing. Because here's the problem, you need to follow right behind Reju. And right now, it's fine, we're just going in a straight line. The second she starts taking turns, you're just gonna get whipped out of this area of protection. And then you dash and go right past her. Then you lose her. Because you're in the sandstorm. <laughs> you are given a decent margin of error before Bonaboros actually attacks you. And it's not attacking me yet. Whoa. See, look, this is the problem. We're just weaving in and out of each other. Whoa! Well, maybe if your sand seal was as well trained as Patricia, wouldn't be having these problems.
This would be cool if it didn't take so long to find Vanaboris. Oh, Naboris. That's confused. I thought you kept saying Van Morrison. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So there's a charge up time. And as long as we're in the protection, oh, thanks, Riju, you won't get hit. Huh? What do you mean now? We're not nearly close enough. The ancient bow is nice for this because it's got a really big distance. Oh, I see. Over here. Good. And as was pointed out in the thread, I believe, and possibly also the YouTube comments, Bonaboris does walk like actual camels, which is the left and the right legs both walk together. Yet another reason I hate camels. Walk like a quadruped, you weird ship of the desert. So I think the idea there is when she says, go, you're supposed to leave the bubble to hit the feet and then come back at danger time. Ah. But why the hell would you do that? <laughs> We're cowards. <laughs> Weird spindly camel legs. Oh no, my whippy legs. Vanaburus has got a super cool head, though. <laughs> I kind of wish they had given her egregious hat hair. <laughs> so flat on top, you could land an airplane on it. The hat kept slipping. It should have moved something. Well, I, th I think it's less of a hat and more like a tiara with a really big mask. Oh yeah, true. Ooh, my feet still hurt. In my head cannon, it will just be a giant bucket helmet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can't convince me otherwise. Don't let us down. What? Falls out. Oh, jeez, can we do that again? <laughs> Welcome to Vanaboris. I'd say it's the most difficult of the Divine Beasts. It's really weird. It's, yeah. And it's, well, you know, well. control gimmick is possibly weirder than that. You sure do know how to keep a woman waiting. I can't wait to see you take Naboris back from So the just, you know, if you've never seen this game before, try and imagine what kind of fine battle control you might have over a camel. I would surmise something to do with hump extension? That's what I was thinking, moving it in and out like pistons. Ugh. Oh, that's unsavory. It'd be gross and hilarious. Everything sounds easy. This is a video game. Yeah, a bit overkill. Yeah, come on. Be a be a devil. Use your friggin' ancient arrows on the friggin' <laughs> guardian scout. I think that's the first time I ever actually jumped over a spear, though. That was kind of rad. It's a nice move. It would be better if you stood on it like Dark Link, but uh, beggars <laughs> can't be choosers. It wasn't a sword, though. Oh, fair point, fair point. Although, what is uh, a spear? but a very small sword on a stick. Well, by that logic, daggers are spears. Mm-hmm, on a very, very short stick. And arrows are just spears, but smaller. Just very small, baby style. Ah, guess who <laughs> tried? <laughs> so you wouldn't believe, but the most trouble I had with anything in Vanaboris was getting this damn chest. So, if you reconfigure the beast, it just dangles, like, exactly where you can catch it, apparently. Huh. Well, I'm yeah. impatient. I wanted it now. I was, too. You see, I had the brilliant plan of, like, shooting it and then catching it with stasis and then magnesis. <laughs> and it didn't work out that way. Well, I got it anyway. Oh, it was just an ancient core. All right. I think that was my third try. I can't believe that now we are watching an early core person. 
<laughs> it's an interesting looking place. I think because of the design, you do have to kind of fudge the physics to run up a lot of slopes. All right, here we go. We won't need to worry about that too much once we got the control. See if you guys are right. Everyone got their guesses in mind? Written them down, put them in a sealed envelope. That's right. Mailed them to the address in the description. 555, where am I drive? You rotate its guts. It's yep. tummy rotation! <laughs> it's a big ass rock tumbler. Who loves rotating what? tummy the sections? I do! The terminals that control Nabortus are noted by a series of glowing points on your map. Take Nabortus back by activating all of the terminals. I like how she rolls the R's, but doesn't for any other R's. And also, one slight inconsistency. She says women and men instead of Vi and Vo. Maybe Gerudo is her second language. That would be weird because she was the chief. Well. <laughs> I mean, I'm not one to speculate on their politics. It's too much time amongst the Hylians. But after a volley, she is very supportive, and it is nice. Yeah. Yeah. She's kind of motherly, and that's actually a trait of hers that was expanded for the DLC. Expanded and examined. Does she love fat babies in the DLC? Is she all like, oh, that's a cute little fat baby. What are you doing? I'm trying to see what I can before I start moving anything. Oh! Which is not very much. You're not gonna get out of here without rolling some tummy rumblers. All right. So you have control over each of the three sections independently. Right. Much like in a real camel. <laughs> yeah. Holy bully! Holy potatoes! I hit the stock and that still didn't count. It's not a Deku, Baba. You know, they aren't in this game. That's kind of an interesting point, though. They do kind of look like it. One thing I was thinking, actually, uh, there are no Dark Nuts in this game, either. Yeah. Which is unfortunate. I would have enjoyed seeing the Breath of the Wild take on a Dark Nut. Uh, that would have been fun. They were kind of hardcore in Twilight Princess. Yeah, they were super cool in Twilight Princess. I even like the the Doberman guys in uh, <laughs> in Wind Waker. They were cool. Oh yeah, I like them. Should have rolled around and cut their armor off. That's right. You just strip them down, and then they're like, "Oh, I'm gonna punch you. I'm gonna punch you with my meaty dog fist." I am so angry. I don't want the sword anymore. Oh yeah, right. The Twilight Princess ones. You should just whip their sword at you after you strip them down. Yep. Ha. Ah. Uh, that didn't work, but that's one thing you can kind of do. There's a lot of these circular openings. You can slightly run up the side of it and then jump. That gives you a little bit extra height. Done. I know, that's... It's <laughs> what? All this is kind of why I didn't like Von Boris that much. It's just kind of... Fiddly. Felt really tedious. Yeah. Yeah. You just... You gotta keep whipping stuff around, and there's no real clear sense of progression because everything sort of leads right back through the tummy. Yeah, it's all sort of centered around this one big tank. Yeah, it was kind of nice in the other ones. You just, you kind of have a path that leads you through two or three of them at once. Yeah. Whereas this, I was just like, okay, I guess it's kind of over here. Just sort of, which way do I need to orient this? I don't know. All I'm saying is, if I wanted to spend time with a big dumb animal whose existence was centered around its stomach, I would just spend time with myself. <laughs> <laughs> Incidentally, kind viewers, feed me, please. Thought it was your turn to feed the Skippy. 
Hey man, he nearly took my hand off. Please, my kind keepers. <laughs> oh, that's what you get for not using the Skippy feeding glove. <laughs> it's shaped like an anime waifu. <laughs> yep, you won't get anywhere near it. <laughs> oh, the eyes, they're so unsettling. Alright, let's actually start getting these. Yeah, you got some nice tesoros. Stop hooting and hollering, you dumb camel. Like with some of the shrines and probably some of the previous divine beasts, where you can actually grab onto the ledges is a little sketchy. Like, even small gaps. If I'm not sure if I'll be able to make it all the way across in one jump, I'd probably rather just take the long route. Like, in this case... Oh, that was barely oh, it. Oh, borderline. In order to get this terminal... You see right there is in the back. You need to enter this room and then circulate the tube. Because the opening is in a cage, I think. Yeah. I do like how in these Divine Beasts, as you get each terminal, the music changes. Like, it started out was just this dun, but now more instruments are coming in, and it's becoming more mystical and hopeful. Stop sounding like someone sat on a piano. Roxanne. Can't believe it came back to the police, because literally, as I was editing the footage for this video, I just decided I'm going to name it Behind My Camel, because I can't think of any other camel pun. And then I literally, that night, I listened to every police album. <laughs> so here's the secret for this big room. One, I assume it's the center tube, because it's connected to the control for the Divine Beast. But there is an electrical line at the top of the tube, and it connects to the others, but only when they're all in the same position. And when that electrical line hits the power, you can then enter rooms like this. Okay. And you also need that electrical line to do at least one more puzzle. Probably a couple. Like this one. Oh no! <laughs> You're in front of Boris's bum! <laughs> This is a trickier one. I feel like I'm doing it wrong or something. Like, I say wrong. I'm doing it wrong in the way that I managed to make work anyway. But I need to use Magnesis to move these electrical... whatever they are. These metal things in position. That will allow electricity to move towards the power, which for whatever reason makes Naboris's butt retract. Like you do. And this would bring the chest down. All right. But I need to get up there. In order to do that, I need to run up this big slope as it's coming up. I'm going to move out here a little bit. See, there's the power. And then I need to use Magnesis as far away as possible, drag it back, and then run. Oh, no, then I got oh, stuck. No. Oh. oh, geometry. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. oh. oh. oh biscuits. <laughs> That's why this thing is tricky. That's not too bad, Ian. You got a fair bit of time. I was thinking... I'm, like, right next. Oh. Yeah, there's the eye. I went around to search to see if there was a chest anywhere. There wasn't. And for this eye, you need to walk right up to it before it opens. You can't shoot it from a distance. These ones you can, though. All it wants is to scare you. What are you gonna do? Blink me to death? No, it's not me. It's my weird moblin skull. <laughs> oh no. I like this. It sort of subtly teaches you about the electrical lines. If it's glowing and it's green, it has electricity. Uh, 
And that's a shortcut, so you don't need to raise the butt again every time. I mean, you can if that's your thing. <laughs> We're not gonna judge. I mean, when life gives you a big flappy camel butt. Um, shock it until it goes up. That's right. And also resent life. Another terminal requires you to jump down in this. This is sort of a gondola that leads back and forth once you get the electricity moving. But you do need to jump down there to get to another terminal. Hi. Surprise! Woo! Goodbye! Uh, hi. <laughs> we. This could have gone better! You can see in the rooms below, there are doors blocked off. That's because you need to jump down in order to get into that room so the doors will open. As an example. Careful, there are two more of the scouts in here, though. Oh no, I am feeling so threatened. Yeah, this freezing sword is, like, really pulling its weight. I'm gonna miss it when you finally break it. Invariably. Hey, little guy. What are you doing all the way over there? Blocking my way. My malice. Uh-huh. Ooh. Now, this puzzle is a little funky. As you turn this wheel, <laughs> you need to keep turning it before it affects anything. But, uh, there are two wheels on each opposite side. Depending on where you're turning this wheel, the other wheels will turn. You need to be careful, though, because if you're not careful, the wheel will actually keep turning past, and the switch won't activate. And then you'll need to keep turning, it'll just waste time. It's a little dumb. It's very well greased. Regular maintenance is very important to Ganon. It's a side effect of malice. Remember to get the oil changed in your giant evil camel. There are two terminals remaining. Stay but I'm focused. the oil. Stay focused. Don't be thinking about grease. Look at those elegant humps. Those lovely camel humps. That's right. Check them out. <laughs> I'm sure I need to use that switch. I'm not sure what for, though. I don't know. What does it matter? You're just gonna death run through the mouse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hope we can take it. I got half hearts for days! Aha. Uh -huh. Now we need two electrical orbs. Since we went down into that locked room, the doors are open now. So that's fine. Oh no! Oh! Okay. Oh! Yay. Thanks, gravity. People don't say that nearly enough. Thanks, gravity. Thank you. Thank you for keeping my butt firmly planted in this modestly comfortable chair. Thank you for stopping me from shooting off into space. Like I've always wanted to. Wow, I'm sensing a little bitterness here. I think the electrical ball is magnetic, so I probably should just use magnesis. Were you shooting arrows at it? I was trying to knock it down. Well, of course you were. <laughs> I did that when you just grabbed the giant battery with your bare hands. It's safe. We have rubber-soled shoes. Just one terminal remaining. You're almost there. And now the violin comes in. Or whatever that stringed instrument is. I'm looking forward to the boss so I can learn how to actually do it, unlike what I did. Oh yeah. I ugh. I don't I don't understand this one. I'm not sure I did it so well in this recording. Fair warning. 
I just don't know what its weakness is. I heard you. But was I listening at the time? Oh, 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 hey! hey. Damn it. Uh oh. Oh, I got him. I've got spares. First try. <laughs> <laughs> Well done. That was the last of the terminals. Now, you'll need to start up the main control unit. Take a good look at your map. Head for the glowing moth you see there. You're doing well. Good, oh, good. That glowing mark. That's a good hero of Hyrule. That's a good glowing mark. No, what, no that's not where the glowing mark is. Where are you going? I see a chest, and I want it. <laughs> yeah, bold. Extremely bold. Just a reminder where we are. Probably would have been easier to just come over here and jump off the edge. Can I get back, though, is the real question. Mmm. You can take the warp. Now we'll never know. <laughs> He actually cut out seven hours of trying to get back. Clunk. I don't know who could have seen this happen. I'm not dressed for this. Now, like, I will just... What are you wearing? You look fantastic! That is totally your color. Okay, now die. It's me, Thunder Blake Ganon. It's my color too. This formidable adversary was made by Ganon. Oh, I'm tired. Oh, me to a demise 100 years ago. Oh, she never stops talking. Not allow this to be your end. Fight for your life. And it's Don't have to tell me twice. I love killing. Yes, we know, Link. <laughs> this thing is fast. Watch yourself. Okay. Thunderblight Ganon has a lot of electricity. He's also quite fast. It's just zippy. Can you stasis Thunderblight? Like... You can, but it doesn't do anything. <sighs> See, one might surmise that a fast enemy would be defeated by making them not fast. And yet, here we are. So you just gotta, like, beat down its shield, I guess? And then it... I don't know. You can't beat down on shield, and then it just can't block your attacks for a while. It will recover the shield. Another thing you can do, you can parry it if you get the timing right. Oh, yeah. Okay. You're given a pretty small window, but it seems like you can trust your instincts there a little bit. And another thing you can do, hopefully I do it soon. Nope, couldn't do that. You can also do a perfect dodge, and perfect dodging is much more consistent for me. Go. Where? Go away. I should probably be using my bomb arrows or something. Something to knock him out. I guess. I'm excited to see what happens when this finally goes up. Reminder, if you saw the alternate route and you thought, hey, you did pretty good against that. That was several takes later. <laughs> this is like my first round. This isn't even the hard part of the fight either. Yeah. He hasn't even gotten into, all right, now I got tricks. He hasn't really done the thunder thing much. Well, here it is. Now he is electrified. Thunder Ganon, ho! And also, he's got a special trick. I should probably be using a powerful thing. Ruh row. He shoots down. These are lightning rods. And he's trying to shoot down lightning towards us. Unfortunately, I don't know where he is. He's all the way over there. Damn it. But you can pick up the lightning rod with Magnesis and drag it towards him to use the lightning against him. 
Come on, where are you? Didn't quite work. I need to get out of here. There it goes. Oh no. Now he's all the way up there. Thanks. Jesus Christ, he does so much damage. Yes, I am. Nope. Thank you, fairies. And the guardian laser does come standard in every Blight Ganon model. He uses his shield a lot more. He does a lot harder to parry and to dodge attacks. It's only because of Mipha and the fairies that I make it through this fight. I was very poorly equipped for this. Mipha and the fairies is the name of a 80s girl rock band. <laughs> hey! Well, we got through. Muddled through somehow. Yeah, at the end there, I just dealt with the electricity because I didn't care anymore. I mean, I've been shocked so many times. This does nothing but tingle. No, don't say tingle! No! This extremely brutal death scene feels a lot more cathartic than usual. Mm. That's it, Thunderblade Ganon. Die in fear. Yeah, I think I need that. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, we're finally in the second row. Yep. D come on. No, I'd like to stay in this camel forever, please. Nowhere else has felt like home as much. I just really relate to the big twisty belly. After what Link's had to eat, he <laughs> probably does. Combat heels. Really don't understand the high heels. Like, they don't make sense for a fighter, and they don't make sense for desert people. Which means that finally, we can complete what we start years ago. We Gerudo have no time. They do look pretty sweet though. So I mean they're nice looking heels. They just they're maybe not the best choice of footwear. I've waited so long for She's a ghost, so she can wear whatever she wants. I suppose. As well as for the moment when I incinerate Ganon into a pile of ash. Oh, don't get ahead of yourself here, sister, okay? If anyone's gonna kill Ganon, alright, it's gonna be the guy what has been eating frogs for like six months. One of us has a sword that seals the darkness, and one of us doesn't. One of us is a ghost. She put my belly. But thank you for the orb. <laughs> Quite a flourish. Both you and the princess, I know you have suffered much. First you let me die, then you steal sentence. my trademark snap. But how this could is you? how things had to happen. Can't believe that we're no finally going to kill enemies with a cute so snap. Please, make it clear so she understands that. Don't tell Pura. Tell her to shed I'll Never hear the end of it. And let her know. I couldn't be more proud of her. Oh. Well, she talks to me, I can't talk to her. Well, so long. The bye-bye sparkles are coming. I get the fuck out of my camel. <laughs> get behind my camel. Nice. Title drop. Roll credits. Not just yet. We need the epic scene of a camel walking. Oh yeah. Let's go, baby. So is this what happened after Joe Camel couldn't advertise to kids anymore? 
No, this is one of the good kind of camels. Oh, oh my feet are still tender. Oh, those bombs really did the business on me. This is crazy. I wonder where the laser is going to come out of a camel. Maybe it's going to be like some sort of like super cool Death Star style charge between the humps or something. You know, something really sweet like that. Or it's just going to spit like everything else. Yeah. Well, we're soon going to find out. All right. What what do you get, big guy? Or both just stand there and point and it comes out of her finger. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. I bet it's gonna be something rad like that. She's actually the divine beast. The Campbell is the champion. Yeah, so cool. What's what's ah uh, yeah, cool. I mean Face laser. Yeah! So cool! More like ear beams. No boy. Legend of the Gerudo, celebrated over ages. And I am a pain in the ass the for the last hundred. You are a legend Didn't she get stuffed in a dark net armor and then get tricked by a pair of witches? <laughs> she got bravely stuffed and tricked by witches. Ah, yes, of course. She was trying to steal shit and was willing to use a impressionable child to do so. Once adopted the form of a I really like this bit of dialogue. And that will make this victory all the more satisfying. I like that. Now I can take this personally. I guess this is kind of your Skyward Once Sword bookend sort of thing. Of yeah, this effectively will always be the last game in the series. Yeah, which is pretty cool, because, like, Ganon's the manifestation of Demise's hatred for the world. And then, throughout the years, I guess, Ganon's identity just degraded into calamity. It's kind of implied that, like, he never really went all in. He either used the power of the Triforce or just poured a bit of him into a mortal form. But now he's like, okay, fuck that noise. Go on all six cylinders. It's calamity time. Bet everything on red and black. <laughs> Always bit on fuchsia. <laughs> so yeah, not one of my favorite Divine Beasts. You guys are right, it is kind of hard to tell when you're making progress in it. Yeah. And also, Thunderblight Ganon is like a blight onto me, but Urbosa's Fury is a pretty sweet skill. When you hold down the attack button, you build up a charge, and when you release it, you just blast down lightning on pretty much everything around you for a pretty wide radius. It's really useful for boss fights. You're given three of them at a time. Yeah, the longer you hold the button, the bigger the radius gets, but it gets big real fast. Yeah. Or if you're, like, fighting a bunch of crazy shit, it'll even stun Lionels for a little bit. And when you're like me, and you're already holding down the charge because you're using heavy weapons and doing the swing, like, that's just, that's the cannonball that follows after beating someone in the face. Yeah, I'm sure we'll see it, but, like, swinging your weapon around and then just slamming it down, accompanied by a giant thunderstorm, is pretty sweet. <laughs> I kept forgetting that I had it. I didn't realize at first how to make it go, and I kept using it by accident. <laughs> yeah. Because, I mean, who the hell pays attention when NPCs are talking? You can cancel the charge attack by pressing B again, so you don't waste Urbosa's Fury. I guess it's a fine replacement for sort of the traditional hurricane spin that you get in the 3D Zeldas. Yeah, I suppose. I mean, it's no Wind Waker hurricane spin with yeah! the panic. <laughs> I know the panic screaming every time. <laughs> and yeah, Urbosa herself, she has a very wooden voice actress. Yeah. But I do like her as a character, and I like that last statement she makes at the end of the cutscene. It is said that Ganon once took the form of a Gyarado. I like that. I can now take this personally. That's a cool touch. That's something that none of the other champions have, is sort of like a personal vendetta against Ganon. She says it sort of gleefully. Mm hmm And it suits her really nicely. It's not like Mipha saying, Together we will annihilate Ganon! It's like, it connects there. There's a through line. Yeah. But that just leaves the last divine beast, which is up in Death Mountain. With everyone's favorite spicy boys. With Skippy's favorite big rock buddies. <laughs> that divine beast is a good bit more interesting than Naboris was. I've got a couple of things I want to do, continuing the exploration, of course, and some side stuff. Next time, like with the other Divine Beasts, Gyarado Town now has a bunch of side quests open, so we'll be taking care of that. And then we'll be going out, finding some more shrines. And then in part 43 through part 45, that will be Death Mountain. It's gonna be a hot time in the city? 
I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's, it's hot here, too. There's a difference between, you know, hot and, oh god, I'm on fire. So, make sure you have the right potions. Yes. Make sure you go to that stable where the lady sells you three fireproof elixirs at once. Don't make a bunch of heatproof potions and think you'll be okay. Ah, uh, I am engulfed in flames, but at least the sun is nice. I'm getting this lovely tan. And... Char. Oh god, the Maillard reaction is on my skin. I'm delicious!